Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. We're doing a bit of exploring today, guys. I'm uh, currently on my way to a location I've never been to before. So obviously, here in the UK, we're still stuck in a national lockdown. And because of that, we're having to stay, <clears throat> I hate saying this word now, I've said it too many times on this channel, but we're having to stay local. And obviously that limits my photography locations and places I can go and film vlogs for you guys. So last night I was sitting at home racking my brains about places to go and I realised I'm running out of locations. So I just got my OS maps up and basically what I did <laughs> is I just scrolled around on locations in my local area until I saw, well, until I saw patches of green and I took a closer look at them to make sure that they were woodland and that they were accessible. And that's what I've done today. So the sort of woodland slash common that I'm on my way over to now is called Manzi Common. I literally have no idea what it's going to be like. Never been there before. Couldn't find any photos on Instagram or anything that gave me a good idea of what sort of the landscape's like. I know it's a forest and a bit of a common land, but nothing really gave me a strong indication about whether it's actually going to be any good for photography. But you know what? I'm out, I'm exploring, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter if I don't go if I go home without any photos. I'll talk more about that later. Right, let's go and explore this place. So I've just trudged through a load of fields <laughs> and I'm about to pass through into Manzi Common. But before I carry on, there's quite a nice little scene here which I think warrants a photograph. I'm not going to stop and talk through it a whole bunch because it's just a quick snapshot. But essentially, in between the field behind me, which is up those stairs there, and Manzi Common, which is up over there, is this little sort of... sort of mini mini valley which has got a tiny little stream running through it and basically I'm on a footbridge right now which I think is going to make a nice photo so essentially what I'm going to do is get the camera out and take a photo stood on this, the middle of this bridge here with the stairs leading up just a nice long leading line going all the way through now ideally I'd like a bit of fog or a bit maybe a bit of a bit of colour in the sky, texture in the sky up there, but whatever. <laughs> so I'll take that photo and I will carry on into Manzi Common. Oh, one more thing. Got some wild garlic sprouting now. So if you've been watching my channel, in my second video, I went on a bit of a recce to a, a woodland that's a lot closer to home than this one because I, I know that it's going to be full of wild garlic in the next few months from today. And this is a good indicator. It's not going to be too much longer till I can go and get some really nice shots of the wild garlic with their white flower blooming. Right, let's crack on.
This is a really spooky place, guys. Manzi Common, what is going on? Why are you so spooky? As I came up from that footbridge into the common, I was struck with how eerie this place is, and that's just down to how old it is. I'm not sure exactly how old this place is, but I'm damn sure it's old because of the amount of trees that just look ancient in here. They're really gnarly and look covered in moss, really adds to it. And safe to say, I don't, I wouldn't want to be here on my own at night time. <laughs> uh -uh. But today, during the day, I love how eerie it is. It's cool, it makes for some really interesting uh, compositions. And I found my first composition of the day, just there. <laughs> I'll focus on this bad boy for you. Look at that oak tree. That is awesome. I love oak trees, but uh, they just, they just have a lot of character, especially this one here. What I really like about it is this broken, I can't point at it. <laughs> it's going kind of, it's opposite ways. I'm looking at my screen on my vlogging camera here. And it's hard to point. Right, so this broken branch here adds a lot of character to this particular tree. It just helps show, kind of adds to its story. It shows how what, what the tough times it's been through and it's really long, I'm guessing, life. Yeah, it's cool, and it's gonna make a really nice photo. I think it's definitely not gonna be the best photo today because we don't have the woodland photographer's best friend, which is fog, because that would really help add some atmosphere to this image. Another thing I like about this tree as well is it's in its own sort of clearing. Oh my God, I can't point, sorry guys. So it's in its own clearing, and that really helps separate it from the rest of the forest, adding more emphasis on the subject at hand, and if you've been watching my channel, I a couple of vlogs ago, a couple of vlogs ago, I went to Thieves Wood, which is my closest local woodland, and it was really foggy. And I did a panoramic of some pine trees that were in their own clearing, and that them being in their own clearing separated them from the forest, and really helped tell their story. And it helped. The, I think it helps the viewer just know what you're looking at as well. And the fog in that image really helps as well. I'll put the image up for you to have a look at actually of this panoramic, it's really cool. Uh, so that's why I think this is gonna look better when it's foggy. Right, so onto the composition. So I've got the, the main tree in sort of the right hand. If you split the frame up into thirds, the main tree here is on the right third. The broken branch here is going off to the left. So if you're following the branch, you're going from left to right. So the branch is coming up like that, broken one. And then you follow up this one here. Oh, I can't. Up to the right. <laughs> so it's a nice left to right balance as well, which I really like. Ooh. So when I take the photo, settings wise, I am... Um, got quite a lot of dynamic range because it's quite bright in the sky. It's overcast, but the sky is bright. It's white and... Not, like I said, it's not the best conditions today. So what I'm trying to do, I could uh, do a HDR image, so I could merge two exposures in Lightroom to kind of get the best of both worlds. But because this is more of a practice, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at my histogram and making sure I'm not clipping any highlights, and then I'll just recover some of the shadows in post-production. If I was to come back with better conditions, I would probably uh, take a few different shots just to merge them, but I don't think I need to do that today. So I'm on. ISO 100, an 80th of a second, F11, and that's that. That's this image. So I'll put it up for you to have a look at, and I'm going to head out of the common now into uh, an ad adjacent, adjacent woodland that, well, when I was looking on uh, my OS maps, I saw a lot of squiggly lines, which means that there's going to be a fairly steep gradient in this woodland, hopefully, and that could offer up some interesting compositions. Let's go. Just come out of Manzi Common, 
and I was on my way over to that woodland I'd seen on the OS map which had the squiggly lines that indicated that there was a bit of a gradient in there which I thought might offer some good photo, photo opportunities. But as I came out of Mansi Common I stumbled upon something very random it's a bit bright, isn't it? Very unexpected and very cool. And uh, I'll show you what I was talking about. So if, look at this behind me. Look, I'll just focus on that for you. That is a bit of old uh, oil drilling machinery, right? <laughs> And when I saw it, I was like, what the hell is a bit of oil drilling machinery doing in the middle of Nottinghamshire? And I've seen a few pieces of this machinery dotted around this, this area. And I was just thinking, what, what's going on? Until I walked past a plaque that told me what's going on. Basically, this area is called Duke's Wood. And it, it used to be an oil field, right? What? So it was created in secret in the 1930s to, to help the war effort um, and it produced nearly 2 million, million barrels of oil in its lifespan which is just absolutely insane if you ask me, absolutely crazy. So that was very unexpected and it kind of brings me on to the point that I was talking about earlier where I was talking about how the fact that I, I don't really, I haven't got many good photos today that I think are really, really good, you know what I mean? I've got some all right ones, but I don't mind, you know? I don't really don't mind that I haven't got any great photos. And that's because I've been out and explored, right? And I think, I mean, this is probably, probably goes for landscape photography more than other types of photography, but... <clears throat> If you're into landscape photography, I'm pretty sure that you're into the outdoors and exploring the outdoors. And in my opinion, okay, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, okay? But if you've been out and you've explored for the day, then who cares if you get great photos, right? You're always going to be able to go back somewhere and get good photos, right? You know, if you know what you're doing, you're going to be able to get good photos. But like today, I... I've had such a good time. I've, I've stumbled upon this, which is so weird, and I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have found it, you know, if I hadn't just, if I was so focused on getting some really good photos, I might not have stumbled upon this. Oh, I've got flies going on me. Uh. Um, so yeah. That being said, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to take some photos of this machinery just because it looks cool. Um, I do think it would look better in some nice fog to make it a bit more atmospheric, but. I don't really care. <laughs> I think it's just it's just cool to come and have a look at it. Look at it. So yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to start heading back to my car after I've taken these photos. I'll put them up for you to have a look up, look at, of course. And yeah, just if you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Looking forward to, to coming out of lockdown now because I am struggling to find places to go. But one more time, again, this today. I've never been here before, randomly chose it last night, just turned up and had a really good time. So, yeah, just go and explore. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you later.